DIY projects are in full swing at the cottage, and after getting started with the window restoration last week, it feels like my vision is finally starting to come to life. So this week, with an extra pair of hands, I have a fun DIY project I want to work on to give our dining room something special. Hey guys, welcome back to the house. Things happening, so many things all different types of things. So my contractors actually moved focus from the inside of the main existing house to the addition on the main house because we really want that to start building. So we're doing the base, the concrete, framing and the roof and getting that dried in so that we can have electrical and drywall come and we do the whole house at the same time. So I ordered nine truckloads of this material called the base and it's a sand rock type mixture that goes underneath the concrete. To my understanding, it's definitely a money saver to build it up this way and then put the concrete on top instead of the entire foundation being concrete. So the nine truckloads came over two days. The guys have been working so hard on that whole area from getting the frame up to where the addition's going to be, to putting the base in, smoothing it out, bagging it up, and just getting it all ready to pour the concrete. So it's really, really exciting to actually see where the addition's going to be in real life instead of in my head. It's looking really good. So while they do all of that, we have all of a lot of things to do. For one, I want to focus on the ceiling because I'm really tired of seeing holes. So the guest bathroom back there, the pantry area, and the kitchen all have beadboard on the ceiling. Some of it's going opposite ways, <laughs> but all beadboard ceiling. The dining room here didn't. It had the acoustic ceiling. So when we took that off, we exposed the shiplap underneath. Uh, we're not taking that down, but I thought that from a design perspective, it would be weird to go from one size wood detail, which was the beadboard, to a completely other size. It's too many. And we have tons of beadboard that we salvage from the house from these areas. So I want to continue the beadboard into the dining room. But in order to give some a little bit of visual interest and a break in your eye, I actually had them leave the beams, and which was the top of the walls from the bathroom. And then we can come back and clad them with something to create these like wooden beams that are in the kitchen, which I thought might be nice. If we clad the beams and we keep the beams there, it adds a natural divide between the beadboard pieces so you don't see the seams. So I thought that was a functional yet pretty decision. <laughs> also, another project that I can continue is the wainscoting. Wainscoting, wainscoting, I never know. And I always question myself when I say it. There's going to be wainscoting all throughout the entryway in the living room that's stained. And then there's also going to be wainscoting throughout the dining room and the front part of the kitchen uh, that's all painted. So it's gonna be a little different. It's already painted and it's already stained. So we're kind of keeping that and I have a couple of ideas to really tie the two spaces together. So I think it's going to work out. So stay, stay tuned. Keep following me through that process. I just really have right here on this back of the hallway wall and right here. So that's definitely one project that I want to kind of like check off my list. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky. I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn. And I hope I've seen it. video when we were working on all the windows and somehow we did two windows that didn't actually fit which was like how do they not fit I thought all these windows were the same so we have three windows in the living room that are at 32 and a quarter inches wide the sash itself and then all the rest of the windows in the house are 33 and a quarter wide they're a whole inch difference 
which you don't notice, you know, obviously, the, as long as the windows that are the same size are together in the house, you never notice that inch. So it was just a whole mess. So now I'm trying to <laughs> figure out where I went wrong and find, obviously, the other, the other two that we need. Oh, this one's way smaller. Wait, what? I don't know. I don't know. This is 32 and a quarter too. What? And then I have four here. How does that make sense? I have I have one, two, three, four, five sets. Five sets I need to do. No. I have four sets. Why is this so hard? So I figured it out. There was a window originally in the living room. They had added a piece of wood along the top to make it taller, I guess, to fit the jam. So we're gonna have to get creative or replace the window totally. So I have a very special helper <laughs> with this project that we have to do all above my head, all on the ceiling, our heads rather. <laughs> He's here! Romeo is here for the week. We are going to tackle a lot of projects and it's hot. So we have cooling towels, we have our fan. Our first project I really want to tackle is all the beadboard on the ceiling. We're gonna start with the smaller patch right here. Tools we need. My miter saw, we gotta bring that to outside. We need my finishing nailer, which we already got. Believe that the one and a half inch nails are going to suffice for this project and lots of beadboard so <laughs> we actually put all of the beadboard up on top of the workshop in in the attic we have to take it down we'll calculate and we'll start hauling it in okay, 10 of those 10 yeah i think i brought 10 boards okay so to patch the small hole we need 10 boards at 88 and a half inches oh. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. So I saw on this blog that in order to help put boards on the ceiling, um, someone, a, a girl had made like a T-shape with two pieces of two by four. So we have plenty of extra two by fours from the house. Um, so we're gonna make one to help hold up the other end. Huh? Been here a thousand times. Set up the stage of lies. Say we're done, say it's over. Shouldn't be coming back. Somehow we could back. Acting drunk, we can throw us over. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's the Okay, so yesterday we got those 10 boards <laughs> up on the ceiling, but it was kind of a test. Do we need scaffolding or do we not need scaffolding for the other room that we need to put beadboard on the ceiling? For the amount of times that I was up and down and we were trading up and down and moving the ladder and someone holding from the other end with a piece of board, way too much work. So, we have scaffolding. So there's a place close in town that had five foot scaffolding, but once you added the wheels, it almost became six foot, which is exactly what we needed. So now we have a much bigger surface area to walk on and just not move the ladder so many times. It was just, this is gonna be game changing. So my dad came after lunch and we kind of figured out how to, we've never put together scaffolding before, but now that we've done it once, we'll be able to do it for life. Um, so we just rented it for the week. We're gonna take full advantage of having this scaffolding for sure. 
We've got little baby nails to take out over here. We've got holes to patch, baby nails to remove, oh, some lighting things that we need to take down. Oh, he's already going for it. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, so can you, yeah, look, oh. Yeah, I'm good. But you're taller than me, so. Okay, we have a lot of beadboard to bring from the back. I demoed so carefully that we salvaged so much beadboard that this is not costing us anything but the rental for the scaffolding. The plumbers were here working. They couldn't anymore because it rained. What else happened? Um, All the boards don't fit together right. But we're persevering. Also, the dust yesterday was just like getting to me. So wearing this today, we are three quarters of the way of putting the beadboard up, which is very exciting. So we are going to finish today. We, we feel confident by it. So. You guys, we did it. I, I, that's all I have in me. Do you have anything else in you? Oh my goodness. Two days of some problem solving along the way, but it does look really good. And it just is the way that it was supposed to be. Um, I realized that there's shiplap all underneath it, as there is with majority of the house. Um, it's just how it was built, but to continue the design and make this part of the house make sense because there was beadboard in that pantry back door area and then the strip in the kitchen, 
there had to be beadboard in the dining room because it's just all one space. It would look really weird if it was either just sheetrock or shiplap. It would, wasn't gonna work. Quite amazing. It kind of looks a little bit like cotton candy right now. Like look, it kind of looks all over the place. But the whole ceiling will be painted the same color. Oh, oh my gosh, what is it? This is, this is what we've come to. This is where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been loving the help from very strong. He's the best. We've done a lot. We've already started on more projects. The plumbers were here today, kind of getting that prepped. So many things are happening, but I think that that's a wrap for this week's video. There's so, and there's thunder. Great, more rain, fantastic. Great for us. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Binge watch all of the rest of the renovation videos because you're gonna wanna be caught up. There's a lot coming. There's a lot happening. The addition is in like full, what's the word? Full effect? That's not the word. Anyways, I'm delusional. Okay, see you next Sunday. Bye guys. <laughs> Also, I forgot to mention, we are going to take full advantage of having the scaffolding for a week. Um, so we rented, we were gonna rent it for a few days, but it was the same price for a week. So while we have it, I'm gonna putty all of those nails, fix any blemishes so that it's just ready. Just want that ceiling to be like, so, so perfect. 